Uh, I'm unmuting myself because that way people know that the countdown may have stopped, but the show started and uh, and we're away. Hello, friends. Um, yeah, I'm an unexpected viewer this evening, on the unexpected participant, I should say, uh, on tonight's challenge. I still haven't got Chris's camera quite right. Um, but we've done, we had a dropout, and uh, and therefore we've got uh, we've got newcomers to the challenge, and uh, and they're taking on the wizard old dog that is myself. Uh, so introducing player one, we've got Adam. Say hello, Adam. Hello, Adam. Adam, what do you do, and where do you do it? I am well. I do it here in my lovely home office, which is currently just the grade void. I'm a junior three D artist for the preservation crew. Uh, so the other Adam is my direct manager, uh, and I predominantly deal with environments, uh, and in our understanding, that's pretty much everything that isn't a train. <laughs> how, how long have you been a dovetail-y? Mm, since mid-November, so about 10 months, coming up a year shortly. It's gone really quick. <laughs> okay, and what's the coolest thing you have contributed to, uh, to the game so far? The coolest in my mind would be the uh actually the cat car mastery so the um the the ufo crash site just because it was completely out of uh out of nowhere out of out of the blue and it was a wild idea that we joked about in a in a morning call and i was like yeah let's do it as long as nobody tells us not to uh and that was the wildest then and the coolest uh, otherwise I'm, I'm learning i've been learning so much every single day over the past uh 10 months that everything is cool <laughs> okay well there you go that's uh, that's player one this evening that's adam uh give some props to adam if you think adam is going to win the challenge uh next up player two this evening is helen say hello helen hi hello good evening what, what do you do and where do you do it um so i'm a qa team lead and i do that from the comfort of my little office here at home and what I do is I look after a lot of our QA technicians who play through the game and look for bugs and help out the devs to try to fix them. So I how work many in people QA, do you have in your team? Uh, in my team, uh, well, in the QA team altogether, we've got about 25 people. And in, and in your particular branch of the team? My branch is about five people who I look after. And are you working mostly on trains or on fish or on what? What, um, do, you, what do you work on mostly? Uh, I work on a secret title that I can't talk about right now, but it's neither trains nor fish or a combination of the two. Oh. <laughs> okay, no spoilers. A secret title we can't talk about. Good. Okay, so uh, so so Helen is not a trains aficionado. Uh, do you want to get your excuses in early? Um. Forgive me. There you go. It's solid. That's it. Nice. Uh, so that's player number two this evening. Helen is player number two. Uh, then player number three is Chris. Chris, hello. What do you do and uh, where do you do it? Hi, yeah. Good evening. Um, so I am the marketing assistant for Train Simulator Series. Um, and I also dabble in Train Sim World as well. Um, pretty much. Everything that you see on our websites in terms of um, articles or even our trailers, um, artwork, I sort of guide and write briefs and sort of work out how we're going to do that um, for each release. Um, probably some of the most notable work you might have seen recently is for Kafka Circle Line. So I did majority of the um, marketing for that in terms of like, you know, interviews with uh, with Driver for Scott Rail. Um, and uh, most recently, uh, the Dresden route for Rush Hour. Nice. So you you report into Mike the T Boy. I do. Smashing. You know, Mike the T Boy was going to do this, and he volunteered you to take his place. I see. So he's sort of chucked me in the. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's, in, basically, in the he's basically dropped you in it. And uh, for those of you who don't know me, where have you been? Right, let's get on with the show. Uh, here are the rules for those of you who have not caught one of the challenge streams before. Uh, today, we are running the 2i291715 service from Cathcart Circle. Uh, everybody has already done the drive, um, and, uh, and I've edited that together to be one compelling live stream action type behavior. Uh, the only thing is, 
I'm the only one who knows who won. Um, you are disqualified. If you, uh, if you have any kind of a game over event, you're disqualified. Uh, you're also disqualified if you fail to enable the safety devices or if you haven't bothered turning the rain on. Spoilers, everybody turns on the safety devices and everybody's got the rain turned on. So we're into a good place to start with. Um, I'll get to clock sync in a sec, Gareth. Um, the, uh, the only way to win is to finish with the most points. The most points is the winner. Uh, but you can claim a Pyrrhic victory uh, by travelling the furthest on foot, uh, being the first to arrive, or having the best camera work along the way. And uh, there we go. Here we are. We're rolling. Let's, uh, let's get on with it. So we go, as ever, uh, you'll see that, uh, that one of the drivers sets off before the others. And this is because... Different PCs run at different speeds uh, when when recording video, and therefore they have to be synchronised further along. So, uh, so Helen's running on the most potato of PCs. Congratulations, well done. Uh, yeah, I know you can look as outraged as you like. Uh, I will. Yeah, synchron the synchronisation time is seventeen fifty. Uh, so 10 to 6 is when we synchronise. Everybody else is running on more or less the same kind of speed. And uh, and we're off and we're rolling. We should be getting a little bit more game sound than this. Let me just check that I've got the game sound fully enabled here. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a delight. Oh, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? I might I might up the tempo a bit. The uh, the viewers uh, will, will let us know if I've got the game sound up too high. Yeah, there we go. Right. Obviously, all of these uh, all of these alerts going off, they'll they'll stop in due course. That's that's me just checking. I've got the lights turned on. So there we go. So what what methodology are we trying to employ here this evening, Adam? What's your secret to success? Uh, my secret to success is that I've learned how to drive that train on the day. Uh, I had precisely one tutorial which I failed halfway through, and then I've read the brief and I've had oh there's supposed to be security things turned on so I've turned that on tried to play the thing failed it three times managed to finish the route after an hour and a half uh, and then I thought okay I'm clearly not winning it so I'm going for a pyrrhic victory of most distance on on foot so nice. I'm playing this as if I were playing Doom Eternal if I stop I die so if the train stops I start running if I stop running the train has to start that's my okay oh that's, that's my strategy. Solid. No, that's that's a that's a good way to start up. Chris, what have you got uh, in your bag of tricks? This is this is me racking up some extra footsteps to start with. You see? Oh, I see. Um, I, I I was a bit sure because I mean I I did quite a lot of work on this. So I I felt like I have felt more pressure that I had to do well on this route because I've actually driven this route quite a lot um, <laughs> in terms of um, you know for uh, for marketing aspects and sort of learning the route I've never you know this is this is more sort of my um, if I was to drive a route this would be more a bit of me in terms of stopping and starting you know I prefer that sort of trying to get the platforms and stopping correctly um, so it was really I was trying to get sort of cool camera shots maybe I'm sort of, sort of going for that and then you might see a bit of me running about on the platform trying to pick up sort of collectibles and things as well on the way okay no, 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 this is this is all good I, no, I'm just enjoying the number of bleeps and whistles all going off at the same time it's marvellous <laughs> um, uh, Helen how did you find your uh, your inaugural uh, 314 experience then um, I found it thrilling high high um exhilaration uh i learned a lot i uh i really focused on the, the temperature inside the cab All so important. there's a lot of that that yeah i there i don't want to spoil anything but heating occurs the fan also occur sometimes they they merge apart from that uh it was an incredible learning experience um i've also played uh well the window might open at some point. Again, no spoilers, but uh, train doesn't start uh, if the window's closed. It, I uh, yes, exactly. That's um, again another thing that I learnt 
during this. Yes, I've learned a lot. Well, the, the, the only issue I see at the moment is you are speeding quite horrendously, but... That... that I am a big fan of the colour red. Um, there's also nobody on the tracks, I've noticed. Um, so, I do sort that out later. I can't recall exactly when I do sort that out. Uh, see, it's going to a comfortable colour now. Um, not quite as uh, intense. I mean, at least I'm only doing one thing at, at one time. True. That I did learn quite quickly. True. Well, okay. Well, let's uh, let's look at the scores on the doors as we uh, as we uh, pass through. Well, while we're relatively close together. So uh, so coming in fourth mode is Helen, uh, and that that will be the speeding that that uh, that cost you there. Um, but it's worth pointing out that all three of the other contestants dropped at least 15 points for having been overspeed already. The, in my in my own defence, of which I have absolutely none, I've done enough of these to know how it works. Um, uh, I was fiddling around with the external camera, and the speed crept ever so slightly into 15 and a half while I was supposed to be doing 15, and I got I got busted for it. There you go. Look, I'm, doing, I'm speeding again. It's ridiculous. Trying to trying to maintain the speed very very slowly is is, is tricky. That's, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. It is tricky, um, especially with the gradients and that changing all the time, sort of having to brake and all that sort of thing. But again, I, I think I fail because, you know, trying to use camera work and trying to manage it all, it's, bit, it's quite difficult. I think that the, the mistake is in trying to do camera work coming out of Glasgow to start with, um, because you've got a lot to manage at that point and, uh, and therefore it becomes a bit tricky. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I should know. <laughs> anyway, what are we looking at? We're looking at uh, the wizened old dog in the lead on 575. Uh, then the uh, the two young gentlemen on 560. Oh, hold on, we've got a 575 pass there. What's the time difference? No, you're, you're 15 points off the pace. Um, uh, Adam, that is. Adam's 15 points off the pace. Chris is 30 points off the pace. No, he's not. He's 15 points. I can't add up. Um, don't worry about me. And then Helen. Helen has scored points too. It's a miracle. It's, it's, you... it's the one thing we all hope for. It's, it's something I was desperately hoping for. So were you, was, um... were you playing by uh, just exclusively doing point and click or were you using the keyboard? Um, I, I, I wanted to just, just show an example of how you could exclusively play with a mouse. Um, it didn't do me many favours. No. I... No. <laughs> that's that's how I used I to play. I, I I thoroughly enjoy playing with just the mouse. Um, in fact, that's that's going to be something that I'm going to enforce for an upcoming challenge. Will be oh. uh, mouse only. Okay. No, no keyboard at all. Obviously, we are we are only playing on uh, on on the PC. So there you go. I think I use the keyboard. For the most, for most of it, to yeah. be fair. Only, only, if, only, only a bit later. I think I, I use the the mouse to control things to get a bit more of a, a simulation feel, I guess. This is a solidly good stop you've got coming up here, Chris. Look at this late application of the brakes. You're going to come in nice and tidy. Yep. Yeah. I'm proud of that. Look at that. I, Helen was the only one who was even close to being on time. Oh, that, oh actually, that stopped a bit short, actually. That one. It is not permitted. It's mainly because of speeding. Yeah, you were driving too fast. Um, <laughs> I was definitely, but, yeah. But I was you, arrived on, you arrived on time, and you've completed your stop now, and that's taken you to 1384. I'll, uh, I'll track the others as, uh, as the scores come in from the completed stop. Nice. No, nobody else is running at the moment. Oh, I did. I ran out the door to get the collect ball, and that was about it. Yeah. Uh, no, the, no, there are no extra points for turning off stop markers. That's that's you. You win nothing from that. Okay, so up in first at the moment, I'm, I regret to say, is myself, 1664. In second, Chris, 1636. Then Adam, 1616. And then Helen was on 1384, but has since scored another Creeping 30. Up. 
I, I'm quite proud of that 30 in particular. Not quite sure what I got it for, but yep. that 30 is getting... It's, it could turn around. I'm feeling confident. But it, it's all about finishing. Finishing is the only thing that matters. <laughs> if, you, if you finish it, that's a victory and in and of itself. I did have to tell myself that. All right, Adam. So, talk to me about breaking points, because your breaking's pretty solid. So, uh, so what's your approach? Um, it's the very uh, sort of sophisticated method of eyeballing. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, in all seriousness, I just try to go as fast as long as I can, and then usually start breaking too early, and then let off the brake until I'm like 15 miles per hour, because I know that I can yank the brake to three and that's going to stop pretty much on the spot <laughs> so, um, yeah I found it very difficult because in a car you can sort of feel the resistance of the pedal and you can feel how much speed you're losing whereas in a tray not only does it start braking later because it's tons and tons of steel it's also just like one two three rather than a smooth thing so uh, but yeah I, I try to sort of roll in slowly to a stop which I've recently watched the the previous 4-Up Challenge and apparently that's a bad strategy because you lose more time okay. rolling into the stop than slamming the brake. But yeah, I, I think I'm about to show like a, a, a primo example of, of my stopping strategy. Uh, I think it's after that stop that was my favourite stop of the whole route. <laughs> yeah, no, there is, there is, there, it's almost saying that they're noticing that I'm not doing quite so much grip it and rip it as I usually do. And go, no, no, if you're playing for points, I've had a couple in a row now where I where I've finished last. Um, and therefore, I've decided to start driving these more moderately sensibly. Especially as a late addition from a sensible driver. So I, I decided that, uh, that no, I'd, I'd give it the best shot. Um, and, uh, and that's why I'm winning. Mm. Yeah. Right now. At the moment, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, Don't get used to me winning. Yeah. You know. No, totally. The tables like can you. turn. Not like you play it for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, Peter knows several people who drive cars full throttle then slam the brakes on the last minute. That's, <laughs> that's living. That's living. Okay, let's have a look at quick time difference. So Helen is currently is coming up on. Uh, 17, 26, and 30 seconds in 3, 2, 1, now. And uh, everyone else is within 2 or 3 seconds of themselves, and they're going to come up on uh, on the 30 second mark in uh, 3, 2, 1, now. So there's a little bit of a gap between the trains, but as the stream goes on, that gap will narrow because we synchronise at 17.50. So all the clocks say exactly the same time at 17.50, which is nice and close to the end. I've taken to driving my train like a UPS van. I leave the, the, uh, I leave the guard's door open <laughs> all the time to enable me to get extra time running around the platform. Have you put the heater on in your cabin, though? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm Global afraid I, I missed not going to take that. care of itself. Well, if you leave the door open, let the draft in. Oh, but it lets it. the heat out. That's the important. Uh -huh. uh, is it the Adam that is the team Adam team which is preserved? No, uh, no, Lord Snowball. This is uh, Adam who is on Adam's team, who is the preserved team. Um, I'm confusingly there is two of us. Yes. Yes. This is the this is the more attractive and younger Adam. <laughs> oh. I, I feel relatively safe in saying that. I don't think that, uh, that Adam uh, would disagree with that. Either of them. See, there's your awkward silence. Mandatory for any stream. <laughs> uh, someone clip that and send it to Adam on the forums. Yeah, you can. You can, you can take me up on that as well. I'd like to point your attention to my stream. This is my snazzy bit of camera work that cost me absolutely nothing in School. Okay. I liked All right. it. Okay, we're into <laughs> we're into snazzy camera. This feels very much like Ooh, an overshoot here, Adam. Oh, oh my! God. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Wee. 
That's an overshoot by oh, a... Oh dear, yeah. By a lot. <laughs> are, are we going to be backing up, do you think? Yes. <laughs> fun, okay, fun well that's fact. a bold move. I've, I've only like, uh, maybe... Uh, compared to sort of where I was supposed to, I, I catch up to, to where I'm only about 15 to 30 seconds off the sort of schedule. So I do catch up. <laughs> Uh, that, that was a Matt, not a Natalie. In order to pull a Natalie, you have to have one door still in the station, and oh, therefore it's a legitimate stop. I don't think we've got the station stop. in the rearview mirror anymore. <laughs> uh, pulling a Matt is when you don't bother to stop. <laughs> there you go. See, look, Chris shows you how it's done. Easy there in there. A, a, a McNebworth there. Scottish Nebworth. See, look, look Neb. It, it only works if you know the reference. <laughs> uh, but there we go. Okay, so uh, Adam's ruled himself out of the running, uh, which means and actually your scores it's, it's holding up there, but you lost you lost a big chunk of time. And I think I even I even did my judicious bit of light speeding in order to try and get back on time. Uh, because being on time is worth more points than not being on time. Okay. Well, I know that there, I, I know at least one person pulls a Natalie on this run. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll just have to wait for that and enjoy it when it happens. <laughs> There you go. I meanwhile, I'm having one of the I'm on, having one of the best drives ever. Apart from the fact that I keep using the emergency brake. There's no lock off before the emergency. I the, I keep thinking there are four braking notches and there's only three, and so I keep pushing it into emergency. Mercifully, there is no uh, there is no no uh, no uh, particular start up you have to do after the emergency brake. But uh, there you go. Uh, no, Natalie's not here. Natalie's on on holiday again. I don't know how she does it. She keeps hacking the holiday system and giving herself more time off. It's there's something weird going on there. I mean, you know, you can't you can't hate the player uh, for that one. Uh, and that's if you can get away with it, get away with it. Okay, let's have a let's have a score update here. Uh, just purely because I have to do a score update. It's going to sound like I'm doing a bragging thing, but I'm genuinely not. It's uh, <laughs> it, it's just a pure score update uh, with me on 5,800 points. Uh, Chris uh, is in second there on 5,300. Um, Adam in third on 4,700. And then uh, then Helen is uh, performing an excellent rearguard manoeuvre on 4,200. Um, it's all good. Uh, the positions could change radically at any Anything moment. Anything could change. You know, at any moment, things can change. I've been told. What I'll tell you for nothing is that the positions as they are now are not the same at the end of the run. Okay. I don't know, I don't, uh, I don't think I goofed a, much you know, from a, that one. That's a cheeky <laughs> teaser towards, you know, trying to encourage people to stay tuned. I've been trying to work out how you're 500 points, or, or nearly 500 points ahead. Uh, that was purely because I'd already completed a stop that you were just starting to complete. Right, okay. And you just have to play the game. <laughs> that's because I, I, I caught up with the timetable. Uh, which meant that I'm now I'm now leaving stations way before you are. Uh, right. So I'm getting those. You've got those points still to come, basically. Okay, so I'm arriving in Cathcart platform one. Uh, Adam and Chris are both on their way to Cathcart. Helen's just arrived at the previous station, but that's okay too. Oh, that's, oh look. You're all in one piece. The train's not on fire. You haven't killed any passengers. You're doing fine. That's a successful know. run. Yeah. Something bad's about to happen. No. <laughs> passengers leaving the train look pretty concussed to me. <laughs> Especially for me. I'm trying to do fancy camera work. Liam, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not answering questions today. 
This is this is happy fun times challenge stream. There's more. There's more than enough to keep you uh, amused and engaged going on with the, uh, the the spicy train racing action going on on the screen. Well, I say train racing. It's train driving properly action uh, that is occurring over here at the moment. I think there's a there's a thing that happens in here. I don't know if it's a piece of scenario or if I did something wrong, but I was losing my mind. Uh, where where there's just the longest red light ever. Did that happen to everyone, or was it just me that I did something? It's part of the scenario. I was I was waiting for ages. I was thinking, oh, I broke it. I got uh, so angry at that train that that zoomed past me five minutes later. Uh, and yes, we do we do have a roadmap coming next Tuesday. I'm not sure who's hosting it yet. I'm sinking feeling it might be me. That's okay. I like doing roadmap. Roadmap. Fun. Okay, so we are ooh, what 15 and a half minutes away from uh, from synchronisation. At which point, then you'll have a then you'll have a proper feel for where the scores actually sit. Um, but there you go. So, I mean, Chris, you're only what 150 off the pace now, and and that will be due to me being on time. Right. Okay. Derek, you reckon it's me and Adam next week? Well, that'll be good. You'll get to complain about being called the less attractive Adam. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a competition of, of two Adams. You can't have a get equal attraction. But then you know, it's the brains that matter, and and personality. And uh, you know, Adam is a zesty soul. So uh, so you know, that's that, he's got that going. For him. Uh, we should get someone to play on console one day for the challenge. You know what? That's a great idea. I might I might get Matt to do his next challenge run on console. He's, I think he's the only one of the regular streamers who've got a console that's actually equipped to stream. Okay, we're now at uh, Mount Florida. And once Helen's finished loading here, I think you'll be on your way to Mount Florida as well. So the, the, the gap isn't huge. I am getting there. Yeah, I mean... totally. Just by pure acceleration, I I will get there. I, I, you see, the thing is, I stopped speeding. I think it was really in terms of my strategy. That's where it's all fallen over a bit for me. <laughs> yeah, you can maintain the speeding. <laughs> you kind of got, oh, I'm late already. But I might. This is how I won the first challenge. Is uh, is I went. I might uh, I might lose some points by speeding, but I will be on time. Um, and ironically enough. That meant that I had a higher score than everybody else, and they were a little bit disappointed at that. And I went, uh, I didn't design the point system there, Matt, who designed the point system. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, does Nat have Samuel? a console? Yeah, Natalie's got a console, but it's not hooked up to stream with. Um, and uh, Gareth said, does Matt's console a dev build? I think, it, I think it is only dev, but I think he might have a... Uh, a legitimate, uh, uh, regular, regular flavour version of the consoles as well. Anyway, it's a good idea uh, because who knows? It might be easier on console. It might be. It might be dramatically easier. It might not be. But who knows? Right. Okay. This is this is all good. Right. Sam, I'm very impressed with the amount of cardio you're putting in. And, uh, don't, I, it takes it takes a lot of work to beat me on the foot race. I try and get this... the Pyrrhic victory every single time. Do you wait for the train to stop, or as it's stopping, do once you just I've, launch once straight I've got out? the brakes set, uh, yep, that that's will bring it. me to a stop in the right place, particularly on the 314, because I'll use the open doors button by the guard's door. Um, uh, so I'm already up before the train stopped. I'm then bundling it up and down the platform, and uh, and then come back in at the same time as the passengers are fully loaded. Well, actually, I don't, when I've got about 10 seconds left before I'm due to depart is when I try and get back. Cutting it fine. Speed running the commute. If only real train engineers had that mentality. <laughs> Just imagine. 
Actually, if you've not seen, I think it was the Peninsula Corridor run we did, I ran round the entire perimeter of the station, jumped onto the train that I thought was mine, that wasn't my train, and, uh, and was a little bit surprised that uh, there was, A, another driver sat there, and that it asked me if I wanted to take control. It was at that point I noticed that I'd actually got on entirely the wrong train. Um, I, I still won that one though, uh, so uh, you know you can. Uh, yeah, you you can't you can't make this stuff up. I think actually I've got I've got another. This is my classic. So Matt pulls what is called a Nebworth, where you entirely forget to stop at a station. Uh, Adam gave us a good demonstration of that earlier on. Natalie pulls the Natalie, uh, which is stopping with one door left in the station. Um, uh, you've then got the JD, uh, which is stopping at the first possible point in the station, uh, and, and going no further and going, close enough. Um, and then my version is that I caused the physics to have some kind of horrific seizure and possibly catapult a train into space. And I don't know why. I've got one coming up. It's not a catastrophic, uh, but I, I don't. I, I think I just triggered the most savage wheel spin in the history of all wheel spins, um, and, and it's while I'm doing like 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, so it shouldn't happen. So, uh, so we've all got that to look forward to. Anyway, it makes it, it, it makes me hard to go completely bananas. Uh, James is stalling on a hill. Nice. Okay, I've no, I've not seen Jamie do that. Um, on the challenge streams, Jamie's special move is remaining very, very quiet when he knows he's put in a particularly good run, and then gloating like you would not believe from someone who looks so young and innocent. Jamie is the biggest gloater I have ever found. Uh, what did the QA team think of me? They quite often review my videos and just kind of go, I, I've got, I, I don't know, I've no idea where to start with that one. Because it's out of the blue and then never repeated. I am the, I'm the king of the unrepeatable. In many ways. Uh, Jamie's also when he manages to blow up a steam train by forgetting to put water in it. Well, good. Well, when steam arrives on TSW, he'll be right at home. <laughs> Uh, haven't I spadded one of these? Yes. Yes. I have spadded one. Uh, the irony of... Uh, no, no, Gareth, it takes one to know one. I, uh, I'm aware that I am something of a gloater as well, but that was only that was only in the very first one where I'd expected to be thrashed. Um, not least of all by Matt. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. No, I went sailing through a red just kind of going, it'll turn green, it'll turn green, it'll turn green, and it didn't turn green. I have, I have indeed fallen foul of that before. Anyway, we're, what, uh, eight minutes, eight minutes from synchronisation, so the clock should be fairly close now. Helen's about five, six seconds ahead, something like that. Oh my god, I'm, I'm reading chat with Adam's stream from a dev build where implementations that haven't been released on Steam yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's why I, I just stream from, like, uh, the you regular Never Steam chase version. aspects, says Toaster. Toaster says never chase aspects. Absolutely, absolutely spot on. That is the, that is the most sound advice ever offered to anyone. If it, if, it, if it says red, it's red. Leave it that way and wait until it changes. Don't go, go on, it'll, it'll, it'll change on me. <laughs> well, so this is the signal, isn't it, that keeps us, keeps yep. us there for a while. This is the signal, all right. Uh, so we're at Pollock Shields now, and uh, the score's on the doors. I've got 10,679. Uh, you've then got Chris on 10,490. Oh, no, you haven't. You're Adam on 10,758. Hey! No, no, you've already loaded. You've already loaded. Um, 
So look, now what I've loaded, I'm on 11,000 and change. Uh, Adam's got 10, 7, 5, 8. We're waiting for Chris to complete loading. And then we'll be able to compare. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is when I got so angry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 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 Yeah, you're gonna want to see the action replay of that, because in my defence. Uh, oh no. What? Did, oh crumbs. I saw the, the light? red light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm rewinding I, the, the YouTube stream. <laughs> but I, I visually saw the red light. Oh no. I, I, visu <laughs> I visually saw the red light, and I went fine. I shall stop just before the red light, not realising that the red light at which I was looking was one that was further away than the one I was about to drive through. So See, I went through exactly it what I, at, did. I went through it at about three miles per hour, thinking it was the next one down the line, which was about 20 feet further down the line. <laughs> well, you know what would be funny? So, as I mentioned, the, uh, the, the, the positions that we saw earlier on are not the ones that we're going to finish in today. For I have once again been disqualified. But you were doing very well right up until you I were was, disqualified. I was doing exceptionally well. I, the I running, was, the posters. I, think I, I was fighting to uh, to potentially get the world record for the most distance carried Kelvin on foot. Um, but we'll never know. I was just running around looking, was like, is there a switch to any Did I turn something? DRA on? I did turn DRA on. But there you go. There it is. That's that's it. I've done, the only excuse was I was looking at a red light going, oh, I shall stop just before that red light. And there was another one that was hiding. It was just giving a head start to the newbies. That's, that's all it is. But hey, it's okay. I, I, I was I was never meant to be driving today anyway, so that's all. And that's me there. going mental at the train. <laughs> also, <laughs> I, I still wonder. I still have the highest score. Just saying. And I I I got booted out a few minutes ago, and I still have the highest score. What's the matter with you people? Do try and keep up. What, what was that about gloating earlier? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. See, I'm I'm gloating after death. There's there's nothing there's no value in that. <laughs> banter, Adam, is banter. You've got you've got to be able to dish it back again. Which to be honest. Yeah, is... one day when I learn to drive the train. <laughs> Seriously for the amount of time I spend looking at that game, the amount of trains I can drive is probably two, maybe two and a half. I do, it's one of the things I like about the game to be honest, is that uh, once, you've, once you've learned a train, learning the next one is more straightforward than learning the first one. Yeah. And it's, it's just the simple things when, when I'm working at like level crossings to, to just make them open and close. Whenever you bring them to the DLC, you have to do a bit of sort of blueprinting and coding. And you put it down and you have to see if it works or if some arcade magic is required to make it work. And then you have to find the train, learn how to play it, and drive it through so that it closes or opens. And that's every single time. It's just annoying, so I just resort to spawning AI. Now, Moggy suggested that I just run the route on foot in future. Uh, far less <laughs> likely to get tripped up by signals that way, and I will indeed set the world record. The only problem is that the stream will be about four hours long. <laughs> Gareth says that I'd still spad even then. You kind of go, yeah, probably would. One of my suggestions when I first joined and, and Adam told me to just go and play for a whole day just to give him his first fresh thoughts. And I think the first train and the first thing I played was Oakville Subdivision, where you've got a lot of running back and forth, switching the tracks, connecting the yep. uh, uh, the tank, the, the tankers and everything. And my first impression and feedback was, we need a bike. Just like have a bike on the you side of the, of the logical, <laughs> so you can just get out, cycle to the switch, <laughs> cycle back. Now, even though you can do switches via the map, my preference is to still get out and uh, and do it on foot. Um, 
I don't. I do, it's it's why I like to press the button to open the doors for the passengers rather than use the keyboard. It just it it feels better than using a than using a, a quick bit, as it were. Yeah, I mean that's. All right, where are we going? Right, okay, yeah. we've got uh, everybody is now on their final run. So we're all heading to uh, to platform nine at Glasgow Central. This is the bit that matters. Chris is in the lead on uh, 11,052 points. I've still got more points than that. Uh, and then uh, Adam has got 10,818 points. And Helen's got 9,681 points. And I am aggressively speeding. Steady on. It's, <laughs> this, can, this can all end in tears very, very quickly. <laughs> That's where I wanted to, to get some snazzy camera work, work Pyrrhic victory, but then I remembered I don't know how to break with a keyboard. Uh, yeah. oh, that's that's fair enough. But breaking with the keyboard, you have to learn it on a per train basis. Oh my, that's it. Wow, that was quite fast, Adam. That was incredible. <laughs> I thought it was the train for a hot second there. I thought. <laughs> no, it's, it's just using the Superman cam. He's going for the he's going for the snazzy finish. I like it. And then, yeah, I just, you know, I drive a train like, uh, what's it called, the um, uncertainty principle in, in physics. I can either know where I am or how fast I'm going, but never both. <laughs> uh, Super Steve says you should do the next challenge with the signal hub turned off. I don't, actually, the, the next challenge that I've got in mind is, uh, is mouse only, potentially no HUD at all. This, this will this will sort them out and obviously I'll have to do it as well but uh, yeah I, I think I might have, I might put a call out for nothing but hardened professionals mouse only please they'd be on now that's just an act of cruelty at that point okay Adam has the lead right now 11,331 uh, Chris arriving a little later. He's got oh, 200 no. points more. Ooh, it was close. Helen's passed the 10,000 mark. This is all good I to see. Made Sam. it to five figures. I did a Sam. I was winning until I wasn't. You were winning? When did that happen? <laughs> well, before he... Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> Up to the first station. I'm, ah, it, it all counts. <laughs> I'm just putting in the kilometers on foot now. <laughs> there you go. I notice you're, you're racking up the foot distance now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you see, that's, that's a smart piece of play right there. Although, <laughs> I don't think you have that much competition in the on foot race. I think Chris has been completely dedicated to winning the train driving aspect of the contest. <laughs> Or the bit that matters. I did try to wander around I got a gold platforms. Medal. That's a win for me. All <laughs> right, uh, Adam has completed, and uh, you've walked one and a half miles on foot. Very nice total score: eleven thousand eight thirty-one. Uh, Chris has only walked nine hundred and fifty-seven yards. I mean, it's a oh. solid effort, but oh, yes, <laughs> that wasn't good try. It. But does have the high score of twelve thousand and eighty-two points. Helen managed to walk no feet, no yards. I'm sorry, no, I sat down. Done it, us. You art found, imitates you good... life. When I sit down, that's it, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the most egregious speeding of the day, I think, goes to Adam. <laughs> uh, absolutely hammering it through the station. Uh, oh, is, yeah, that one. <laughs> that's good effort. So there we go. We have, a, we have a new reigning champion. Chris is now the reigning champion of the Four Up Challenge. Uh, which means that you'll get invited along to the next one to defend your title. Uh, I hope uh, people have enjoyed this evening's run. Uh, if you want to submit your own scores, if you want to have a crack at it, I posted this up in the off-topic forum earlier on uh, with all the settings that you need, and uh, and you'll be able to uh, be able to give it a look. Anyway, that's it for today. This is it. There we go. Did we have fun, everybody? Yes. Yeah, great fun. Very Loved much it. So. Thank you for uh, for inviting me to give it a go. No, and now I'm going to have to defend my title. The, the more the merit. I'm going to get the big boss on at some point. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to get either Paul or John to come and give it a go. Uh, and uh, and then we can all laugh at them. Um, 
which might be a little bit career limiting, but that's the kind of idiotic <laughs> thing that I do. So, uh, so, so there you go. Um, there you go. This can this be done on console? We'll we'll find some people to play on console. But yes, you can do this exact run on console if you've got the Cathcart Circle. Uh, it doesn't use any other DLC. It's only Cathcart Circle that you need to give it a go. Go post up your scores. Let me know how you got on on the forum. Uh, who's on tomorrow? Nobody's on tomorrow. It's Friday. Hooray! Uh, we're back next week with a roadmap. It's roadmap week next week. And you're going to see me and the uh, the less appealing Adam... Uh, we will be taking you through what's coming up. Uh, so okay. hope to see you then. Um, but thanks for tuning in today. Uh, say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>